Hello everybody, I'm Molly from Bell Farms. So today's video is going to focus on replacing belt lacing. So this is something that I know how to do. Um, I've done it a few times last year, uh, but with farming, one of the things is you don't always use all your skills all the time. So this video is primarily to teach everybody about lacing, but it's also for me so that I can look back at it. And if I have questions, I don't have to grab Shane. Um, but yeah, so what we're gonna do today is we are going to replace uh, the belt lacing on this elevator here. Uh, Raymond noticed that it was coming apart uh, the other day when we were bagging. So Shane is gonna show us how to do that. Step one is we need to spin the belt around to find the lacing. So I will turn it on and you let me know when the lacing comes around to about here. Okay. Please. Ready? Yep. Good. You could go a little further, sorry. Let's see. Uh, yeah, just a smidge more. Too far? No, nope, I think that's good. It'll right. probably work well. And then for all the safety Steves, we will unplug it. <laughs> the way this is put together is with alligator lacing. So I'll show you guys what this looks like here. And as you can see, this is where we're starting to fall apart here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually remove this piece here, put a new whole piece of lacing in. So first steps with that is to loosen up the belting, correct? Yeah, yeah, we need to loosen it up so we can work with it. Okay. So we do that by these bearings here are on slides. So we will loosen up this threaded rod on both sides to move that bearing forward. And same on the other side. Well, the other thing I wanted to show you guys was Shane has everything laid out nicely that he's going to be using. A couple different hammers, box knife, a couple different pliers, piece of wood, piece of metal to hit on, straight edge, and we'll grease it up after. Yep, and then the lacing parts are in here. Yeah, this is my bin of spare lacing and flights. And this is what the new alligator lacing looks like. So the other ones, they're actually worn through here. So the cable has pulled out. And we'll show you guys what that looks like um, with that cable piece too. Got all the tension off the belt now. So we will make a fresh cut. All right, look out, Bessie. Okay, so this step we need wood, box knife, straight edge, and I also always like to keep a few clamps around because they will hold things and they don't have any ideas like people do. Try and cut this as close as we can to save as much belting as we can. that side. Alright. So, now we'll make a straight cut right here. So we're almost done making our cut here. Just gonna finish it off. So this side is ready. So yeah, as you can see, the teeth are worn right through there. And cause that cable to pull out. So this had limited shelf life left. This side is good. Now straight edge on this side. Now we grab our lacing and get it the proper length. 
So that slides over there like so. And so right here. I'll we'll just give that a couple of twists or bends, whatever you want to call them. And do this one to match. So boom, boom, and snap that there. And so this is the special tool. You never want to lose this thing or this. So this is RS125 lacing. This tool will do two different size lacings. So we need to flip this green piece around because it's set for 187. So, all right. Now at this point, we'll get comfortable right here. Take this lacing. Oh, and one step I forgot is just to cut the corners off here so they don't fetch up on anything. One, and two. All right. So I'm going to say that this video is going to help me out in the future, if not anybody else. <laughs> Next time you go do it on your own. Yes, you, uh, I'm going to watch this. <laughs> forget any steps because <laughs> you've been trained in this already. Yes. So, yeah, so the alligator lacing, there's like these little staples pre-started in them. And those staples are going to go through the belt, out these holes, and then bend them over. So in order to accomplish that, you need the special tool. Can you show that little, the prong piece? This piece? Yeah. Yeah, so this is what pushes down on the staples. It's got the little grooves in it. And that just, boom, boom. And there's little grooves in here to get the ends of the staples bent. Okay, thank you. So we'll start from the middle, work our way out. So another thing that Shane is doing right now is he is going back and forth. So he starts in the center and he goes one over to the right, one over to the left, um, and does not just go straight down one side. And typically you only hammer a certain number of times, correct? Yeah, there's a finesse to it to get it straight. started pretty well so I'm gonna go down and give him another little tap. So now the staples are sticking out like that. So they're starting to kind of fold over. Yeah, yeah, I probably should have sent them a little bit harder, but I won't get that better on the next run. So now we use the piece of metal. And we lay this over here and finish bending them over. So they fit nicely in that groove like that. like that. So the staples are all folded over nicely. All 
right, so now we just rinse and repeat on the other side of the belt. So another thing, um, when you're hammering those staples down, it's important that you do not hit these round pieces here because the, is it, what do you call it? Uh, cable. Cable, yeah, it's like a cable that goes through here. If you hit those by accident, then your cable's not gonna fit. I know from experience. Another thing too, um, usually this is easier to do on the ground if you take the whole belting right out, lay it on the ground. It's much easier, you have better working space and obviously the concrete floor is much more sturdy to hit on than a piece of wood, but the time it takes to remove the belt and reinstall it sometimes weighs out any gain there, so that's why I just use a piece of wood and that piece of square tubing. So we will do this again. You usually fix most of the belt lacing, don't you? Yeah. Or you. Well. Yeah. Everything used to be mainly piano lacing when Ray and Dave were doing all this fun stuff and that's different to work with than this stuff, so. So in other words, this is the next generation of belt lacing with the next generation of farmers? Uh, this is the last generation of belt lacing because if you look at the new belts, <laughs> there's no lacing. There's no lacing, so, good point. <laughs> slowly gaining. <laughs> Okay, I don't think I need to hit down on the top here because I got a better hitting angle. see you helping then they'll think they can help and they're not gonna help. <laughs> okay. Whenever you're done with this it immediately goes back in the tote. <laughs> Bessie's guarding the tote. He has a Bessie bass. While you're down there, honey, um, what you need? shorter cardboard box. Oh, is, is that this? the right size? Well, let's see. Yes. Yes, that's the right size. Okay. Okay, so this is a dry fit on how this goes together. You can see how this slides in here. So the way this works is once you put these together, the channels, this end will be in between these two, and then this will slide through to lock them together. And it's just a coated cable. They last pretty long. And As you can see, actually, with the old pieces, the cable was still more intact than the pieces of the lacing were. And... So I was going to ask you about this. How this goes in? No, some, sometimes I've seen you do it a couple different ways here. Okay, so I have seen you drill a hole through the side to get it in. Like that one right there. Okay, you've already got one. <laughs> okay. So, this one's already been done before, obviously. So. Yeah, so this is Shane's like quick, easy way of getting that lacing through without having to move things. Is there is a hole here. If you come around. Okay. So obviously, you know, this is older equipment and we don't care about holes and things like this. It doesn't matter for us. So we do things like this to make it easier. 
Um, in a different application, though, what would be the the way to do it on the bottom somewhere? Um, like somewhere where there's not a side, or you loosen it up enough, and you you do it above to, it. Hold on to that. Okay. Take a piece of wood, lay that like that, and that like that. So if it's loose, if the belt's loose enough, you can do it on top. Yeah. Which I don't know if we have enough slack to do that like that here. Probably not. No. Okay. Well, first we will line these up like this. Slide that through that hole. And it's through. So that is why we cut, drill the holes in the sides of the conveyors because it's that easy. So now we just need to see if we can find the little locking disc oh. things. Are they in this, this thing here? I'm pretty good at losing them, so they could be. What do they look like? There's a little plastic baggie with those little stainless steel bent washer things. Oh, the little clamp things. Yeah. In the box. These are the little pieces that will slide over the end of the cable and it clamps down on them so that the cable doesn't slide out. So you're gonna trim the cable? Yeah. Yep, okay. So I'll line that, the cable wants to be about there. So a little mark in that, pull it out. I might have to go get an abrasive tool for this, but nope. Incoming. And then that's kind of also why you cut the little groove in there. So it gives you access? Yeah, and then, you know, the things aren't the exact length. slides over there like so. So when you're putting it on, note to self for the future, uh, the flat part goes towards the lacing. I think so. I don't know if it matters. Oh, well. That's the way I'm doing it right now. Okay. I'm sure if you read the instructions, it would tell you something. And who knows, according to the instructions, I may be doing this all wrong, but this is the way to do it. Works for me. That side's on. Slide that on there. That part's done. What yes. You, yeah. So basically, we've replaced that. Now we've got to turn the belt on and the bearings that we slid in to get the slack to work on it. So we push those back out and then adjust the tracking on the belt at the same time. Okay. Are you going to replace the bearing at all or no? No. Oh. Okay. All right. So we're going to do that part. We going to do that part. All right, guys. So now that you've seen the new lacing in here, I'm gonna show you the old lacing a little bit up close. So on the back side here, you can see the little staples that were folded over and they are nice and flat. They don't catch up on anything. And the cable still, yeah, the cable is still intact, but the teeth have worn out in between. All right, so I'm going to turn it on now, and we're going to see how that belt tracks. Okay. There's, uh, just verify that nothing got left on the belting. Everything is good on here. This and this are up there. Feels pretty good tension. So let's turn it on and see how straight it is. Yeah, so the belt's crowded to that side. Yep, yep, they are equal on both sides. Good to me. 
All right, guys. So that's it for this one. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something.